now it's time to go for this discrete knob right so to place this we'll just make this canvas a little bit bigger here also what do we do we'll take one edit field right we'll just rearrange this let's say using this knob we are going to set different speed in off condition low medium and high right and we want to see over here <clears throat> whether our machine is rotating on low speed medium speed or high speed and the same thing we want to indicate with the lamp that when the machine is rotating on high speed we want to turn the lamp red so requirement is clear to you all right we want to indicate whether the machine is rotating at low medium or high speed and the second requirement is when it is rotating on high speed it should indicate with red lamp so now let's start programming click this right click it go to callbacks add value changing function app dot speed knob dot value the value of that speed knob will be stored in this value variable and this has been done by default now in step number one what do we want we want to show the value in this speed box so we'll write app dot speed edit field dot value is equal to this value so whatever this knob indicates will be stored in this value variable and this value variable will be equal to the app speed edit field value that means that will be displayed in this speed box or in this edit field I have a different idea here let's make this app this way that if it is on low right here if it is on low it indicates green color so we'll just remove this high and we'll mention speed right so what do we do now if the knob is at low it will indicate green color at medium some another color and at high red color right this way we'll modify this so now let's come back here so here we have three different conditions for three different speed and to achieve this logic we are going to use switch case statement for that we'll write switch and then we'll indicate we are talking about which component so this is our component app dot speed knob and now in this app dot speed knob we are talking about its value right so we'll write value so switch then the statement of the knob and then we'll select case so here we have three case or case number one is low medium and high right so we'll write low case number one what if this knob is on low condition here one thing you are supposed to be very much careful and that is you are supposed to write the exact conditional statement which is mentioned over here if the L is capital then you are supposed to mention L capital <coughs> so if this condition is true then we want this speed lamp to be green right so we will write green so for green color 0 1 0 right 0 1 0 so if the knob is set at low the lamp indicates green now we'll go for next case that is medium now for medium let's make it blue right and for high this one red one zero zero it should not be capital it should be small now we'll end this now let's run see how the app responds let's make it to low
let's make it low right it's green and it indicates low let's make it medium it's blue medium high and red and this will show right so that's how you can program normal knob and discrete knob in next video we are going to create another interesting app in matlab app designer so see you into the next video